this video is going to help you to not lose your packages anymore. This video is about you writing your address and your name and all of that correctly so you can get your packages delivered to your home. Why am I making this? Because I see this all the time. I think half of the persons who send applications for IT to the IRS, it gets lost coming back. I don't understand that. There have been so many of those. I Anyway, I don't want them to come after me. All right, so we're going to talk about this and much more right after this. So addresses is a major issue for us. I don't know what it is that keeps us from addressing our envelopes properly and having our documents get lost. I have seen so many persons who said they, their item got lost in the mail as well as their Jamaican passport because they came to me because the passport is lost. And it has a lot to do with addressing the package. One man in Brooklyn, he lost his we were able to um, track it down, get it back, and then we were able to renew his passport. He went to an agency, and the agency forgot to put on his apartment number. And so the IRS mailed it to him. It couldn't be delivered because in New York, it's a lot of multi-store buildings. They had no idea where to go. It went back to the IRS. The IRS, when he called them, they said they didn't have it, till eventually it got back to, I don't know what they call a section, returned mail section, which is a different section from the person who issues the item. And so the two offices were not communicating, but eventually after several months, it got back to that office and then they sent it to the embassy. We tracked it, <laughs> we tracked it from Brooklyn to the post office, back to the IRS in Texas, and then back to the embassy in Washington, DC. We eventually found it. They sent it to New York and he went and picked it up. And I've done that several times for persons who have lost their item, um, their item. We are not addressing our envelopes properly. If we are paying someone to do it for us, we still have an obligation to read the address on the package. I let my um, clients check the addresses on any documents I fill for them. And when they're mailing the package, I look at it for them and tell them if the address is correct. Many of us, many clients do not give me their apartment number. I always ask, is there an apartment floor or unit number? And then they say yes. It terrifies me when they say yes because it means that package might have gone astray without that number. So I always have to ask. Um, clients will give me partial address. That one scares me. Clients in countries like Mexico where they don't have the same address format as the US or even Costa Rica, which is a different format from the US or Canada, their addresses are different to say the least. And whenever someone gives me that address, I'm always worried that they have left off something important or they're putting in something irrelevant. I always say, show me an envelope so that I can see your address. I had a client the other day in the Netherlands. He gave me his address, but he gave me the street name and number. There was no city and there was no country. Maybe they don't have codes like zip codes. I get that. But you have to at least give me the address. So we're doing an international package from Jamaica to the Netherlands. You have to give the international format of the address. So I am in New York and I'm mailing to Connecticut. I'm going to put, you know, Hartford, Connecticut 06073. And I'm not going to say USA because I'm in the USA. But if it's an overseas package, I am going to say Hartford, Connecticut, USA. Or I'm going to say Jamaica, West Indies. I have to complete it with the country. So your, what do you call that surface? Your surface mail or the domestic mail is slightly different in addressing than an international mail. Fill out the address. Now, one that annoyed me no end when I worked at the consulate was when persons give me the street name they live on and the cross street. So places like New York City, where everything is on a grid, it would be like, one street this way and then one street this way. And they would say, well, 6538th Street and Utica Avenue. I don't need and Utica Avenue. Which one is your house on? And Utica Avenue is a direction. It is not the address where you live. The postman is not gonna come and deliver the package to 38th Street and Utica. That's an intersection. Where is your house? 
if you think they can't find you then you could say something about you know the cross street is utica but that is non-standard do not put it in your address because that's how you're going to end up losing your package so my takeaway from this video is address your packages completely do not leave out your apartment floor or unit number or building number and don't leave off the zip code a lot of people do this they leave off the zip code and if um, the person is helping you and they google the zip code that city could have several different zip codes as i found with one texas address today it had so many zip codes <laughs> no not texas spokane valley it had so many zip codes i didn't know which one to use so i had to go back to the client to say can you please give me the zip code i didn't want to have to bother but um i went back and i got it um complete it with your zip code complete it with the floor number building number apartment number unit number complete it with the full street name the city the state the zip code and the country if it's international mail in the case of canada completely with the province because someone did this the other day they did not tell me the province they were in good thing i know that canada must have a province and so i asked for it so they gave me the province if you are not sure how to give somebody the address show them an envelope or show them your driver's license anyway i am gail of 876 documents happy mailing please stop losing a package me not like seat me feel bad for no man tell no lie anyway follow subscribe please share these videos so other people can get some of this information and as usual please leave a comment letting me know what you agree with notice i didn't say disagree <laughs> thanks for watching